Hello friends, my name is Yawal Islam and I am from Pakistan. Here I am studying in MBBS first year at Saidu Medical College Sabath, which is under Khyber Medical University, Peshawar, KPK, Pakistan. And last year I had cracked entrance test and I had a rank of 538 overall in our province. And now I am studying in a government medical college on merit seat. I was a regular student of Biomentors and Dr. Gitinder Singh sir. And due to his countless motivation, countless inspiration and consistent hard work, today I am and I will be called a future doctor. So I am very privileged, honored and I feel very respected that sir has given me an opportunity to talk to you people, to talk to you people about my journey, about my strategy, about how I plan the things and about how I motivated myself throughout the preparation of entrance test. So well, the first thing keep in mind and make it brain tattoo. They take this hard time with a positive attitude. Exams are tough and they are mean to be tough because if they were not tough, everyone would qualify it. And its toughness, its hardness show its greatness. So what I did, I, I accepted the reality that this would be hard to sit on a chair for long hours to do not celebrate your life for some time, for some period but at the end the result would be fruitful. fruitful. Always keep in mind the moment when you qualify the test and this would be a celebration moment for you, your family, your father, mother, sisters and brothers and you will be proud of yourself and they will be proud of you because with a medical aspirant, not only he, but as a whole, a whole, a whole families are connected. So the first point is that take it with a positive attitude and always remember that larger achievements require larger sacrifices. Once you tackle it with a positive attitude, then make a study plan. Make a schedule because the things which are schedulized are actually the things which are done. What I did, I made a plan of a week and I blocked my time. It's called strategic time blocking strategy. So block your time that I will do this subject on Monday, this subject on uh, Tuesday and so on. Make an idea and execute on it because Ideation without execution is nothing more than hallucination. And the third point and the third problem what I faced, I did not have an idea how to study. So always remember that do not consider your study as a burden. Do not consider your study as your duty. Consider your study as your love. Because when you do the things with love, you will do the things beautifully. Know your strengths, know your favorite subjects, know your weaknesses, work on your weaknesses. Make a deep analysis on yourself that which subjects are um, weak, which subjects are your weak subjects and which are your strong subjects. Try to grip the concept first. If you can't tackle the concept, if you can't grip the concept, talk to your teacher, talk to my mentors, talk to Dr. Gitendra Singh sir. Go to an online source, talk to your uh, college teacher, but at least do it. The second thing, what most of the students do mistake, they differ from large statements, MCQs, complex MCQs. Always encourage yourself. And there is nothing in large MCQs, there is nothing in large statement MCQs, complex MCQs. Collect the idea, integrate the idea, work on it. And you will do it. Always consider an MCQs 
as your adventure as a challenge and have a try try again strategy do not lose hope until you unless you are done and as it is a long gap for repeaters for droppers i must tell you that behind every successful person there are unsuccessful ears and most of the droppers get demotivated get uh, depressed take tension why are you using your positive energy why are you converting your positive energy into a negative energy do not regret your past always consider it as a humble teacher and surround yourself with energy empires surround yourself with those people who motivate you who inspire you who give you courage and uninstall and delete those people who say that you can't do it who underestimate your capabilities your capacities and your abilities and do not consider the other opinion of your interest it's not of your interest you know your strength you know you are gold you know you are di- you are diamond and you you know your price the fifth thing which i am working on it and i must emphasize that i must tell you that if you work on these four interior empires i bet and i challenge you that you will face the face of success the first one is your mindset which is a terrible master and a beautiful servant and what your mind do your mind relate your awareness because with with better awareness you will make better choices and with better choices you will make ultimately better results the second thing is your heart set the second interior empire is empire is your heart set work on your emotionality work on your feelings and this is your career this is your productivity this is your creativity and don't let your emotions don't let your feeling to come in the way of your career work like a robot as sir have said the third thing is your health set work on your health take good nutrition because a healthy body will have a healthy mind and remember on the day of test you will have two things to carry with yourself your healthy body your healthy physique and your healthy mind the fourth the fourth the interior empire is your soul set which is the center of ultimate happiness solace and inner satisfaction which connect you with the supreme power so thank you and uh, i i again say thanks to sir that has given that he has given me an opportunity to encourage you people because a little bit a few words of encouragement a few words of encouragement fan the spark of genius and to flame of achievement so bundle of thanks and always remember that your passion work with passion hard work and do hard work do smart work do it with passion because your passion and productivity with Um, ultimately will um, give your performance your passion and productivity results in your performance and your performance will ultimately uh, go into your goals so thank you bundle of things pray for my exam pray for yourself and pray for sir for such an unforgettable achievements towards the society and i must tell you that the people like dr gitender singh sir and his team are very rare on this planet so bundle of thanks bundle of thanks and thank you sir so now